Greetings, YouTube. It is I, Merrick. And welcome back to another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, on the last episode, we tricked a bitch into letting us in on her little secret. And now we're actually going to, uh, to go, to go steal her shit. Uh, I don't know who I want to talk to. Let's talk to this guy, Dak Vesser. Hello. Yes. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. Yeah, sure, why not? Can you tell me about them? Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Cool. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Hmm. Any unusual findings? Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs. But Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. Challenge accepted! Definitely dangerous. Most of the students that go inside them don't come back out. Master Uthar prefers it that way. What can you tell me about them? There's four tombs here. On the right are the tombs of Ajunta Paul and Tulak Horde. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasato. All four were ancient Sith Lords. Ah, hey, well why don't you tell me about them? That's the first tomb on the right. There's a rumor that there's a powerful artifact still in there, but nobody's retrieved it yet. That tomb supposedly has ancient battle droids and traps that are still functioning. It's amazing that their power sources have lasted so long, really. Well, what about Tulak Horde? That's the farthest tomb on the right. We don't know much about Tulak Horde, unfortunately. The Takata have a nest in that tomb, I think. Uh, what are Tukata? A local pack animal that's very dangerous. Occasionally the guards track down a queen and kill it. That usually pacifies them for a bit. Alright, what about Marco Ragnos? That's the first tomb on the left. Someone mentioned that a crazy droid has holed itself up in there, but I don't know much about that. And Nagasato. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. Aha! And what did he find? No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. All right, well, I'm gonna right, go. Just be careful if you head into any of those tombs. Well, that was unfortunate. I know there are, uh... Can I open this? No. I know that the second game... Spoiler alert. Hey, let's open this. The second game will actually tell you about the... About the tombs. How do I... No. What button was it? No, stop it. Stop it. I don't know what you're doing. No. No. No! Uh-uh. Nope, not it. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, let's talk to this guy real quick. Oh, hello to you. Hello. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Nope, I can't. What are you doing? I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of a Ajunta Paul. Uh, I thought that was already determined. Ajunta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here. And I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. Oh, he had a sword! According to legend, Ajunta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are 
quite dangerous. Oh, you sound so remorseful. What do you know about the sword? Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for a junta alone. Aha, uh -huh. that sounds kind of cool. Of course. Um, don't let me keep you from your business. Now, well, my business is going to be to acquire this ancient item. An ancient artifact of the sea. I mean, come on, I'm Merrick. Of course I have a thing for ancient artifacts. Especially ones of immense power in, you know, darkness. Huh? Alright, Canvas, let's see if you can disable this. Probably not, but at least if it blows up, you have armor. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> he just... Oh, crap. Well, ow. No problem. Didn't work. Alright, this will work. There we go. Well, there's a corpse. There's those things. I don't know if you can see them all moving down there. Oh, shit! It looked like they couldn't come in here, so I was just gonna stand here, but... Well, that was easy. Alright, so we couldn't take anything from that corpse. Uh, but we can from this one. A data pad. It, wait, hold on. I want to read it. Show new items. All the way down we go. No. This one. The data pad appears to be the journal of a Sith archaeologist by the name of Ver... Verin Gal. Most of it consists of uninteresting bullshit of the geology of the tomb's caverns, but the final entry is as follows. Strangely enough, I found traces of the Therangan in the tomb. This is an unstable black rock used as fuel by lesser races. Perhaps the ancient Sith on Korriban used it as a power source. It is a volatile and dangerous substance and reacts violently to fire. I will have to be careful. Aha, so it's... It's a... Hint... To some bullshit. I just, it literally sounds like this cave is falling apart. Should we even be in here? Let's just get the sword and go. A severed arm. That also had a data pad. Where's this? Damn it. Where is it? There it is. This data pad seemed to have once belonged to an enterprising young Sith student who had ventured into the tomb in search of a Junta Paul's sword. One of his entries is of particular note. There has got to be a way to get past this obelisk, the Tormentor, blocking the breach. It seems to be made of some kind of unstable material. I'm willing to bet some kind of energy discharge will set it off. Blaster fire isn't doing the trick, however. I'll have to try some kind of explosive. I just hope that guard droid over there is as defunct as it looks. Well, it looks very unfunk. Oh wait, that one's active. The other ones aren't active. Did I try doing anything to this one? I can't do anything with that one. Um... Yeah. Let's 
try these. Well, that worked. I'd say the droids are kind of east. I can't put any of the ink. I guess we're gonna have to throw something. Let's... Let's just throw fragments. <laughs> oh, we can just sit here and just let... Let our character block all the sheep right back at it. Well, that was super simple. That was super quick. I wish I knew before that that was an easy trick. Alright, let's... I don't know what this lever does. Uh... Okay. Okay, see rocks again. You know what? I am seeing these doors not doing what I tell them. Oh, look, a mine. Oh, no. Didn't even do anything. Alright, so let's... Let's see. Let's look around. Here's a corpse. Alright, well, they have Republic credit, so... Alright, so let's... Let's open the tomb door. Hello, wakey wakey. A vibro sword, a silver line sword, and a notched steel sword. Alright. So now we're supposed to do something with this. Too long, too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. A human. A ghost! This you don't see every day. This, this is an old spirit full of the force. Since great sadness and regret, walk carefully. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? Um. Well, I was here once before. Do you remember? I do. And yet I do not. The Force is so strong with you, human. Yet the face, the soul. It has been so very long. So, are you a Junta Paul? I had a name once. A Junta Paul? Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell. And I knew it would be so. So you were the Sith Lord from ancient times? Ancient? Has it been so long that you use the word ancient? I have been here so long, so lost, I cannot, cannot remember. We were the first, the first to rebel, to betray, to surrender ourselves to the dark side. So strong, we thought, so wrong. So what do you mean by those we betrayed? Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the dark side. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. We were... discovered? Or did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came. To hide and to grow. And here we fell. Um, 
How did you fall? What happened? We hid from the Jedi, but it was not they who destroyed us. Is it not obvious what we did? We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other to increase our power. We battled until finally our fortress rained down on top of us. <laughs> the Sith consumed themselves, did they? <laughs> I suppose that eventually they'd be all they'd have left to fight. And so, here, our old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of us? Do, do the Sith still thrive? Did they ever return? The Sith fled, and then they returned. So much, so much time has passed, and yet we have learned nothing, nothing. And so why do you remain here? Remain? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now, a corpse as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead, and I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. Wow, that's deep. I feel sorry for you. Most of my brethren would desire only to take what power I have left, even if it would destroy them. I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. All right, well, don't be commanding at me. But what do you want me to do with if, it? If you are wise, you will not keep it. In the end, it is what destroyed me. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword, but it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. And if it isn't yours... Then you must die. This is how it must be. Well, that doesn't sound very fair. How do I even know which one it is if you don't remember? I do remember one thing of my sword. Listen to me carefully. Okay. I am that which grips the heart in fright, hearkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue. Well... I don't... Silver line sword. Long and straight and sparkles with a silver glow that becomes brighter as the hilt is touched. It's quite warm and it almost appears that the blade becomes white hot once equipped. Such a fiery weapon would be devastating against an unarmored opponent. A small insignia of a flame is impressed upon the hilt. Like most fibro blades, this weapon lets off a dim humming sound once activated. Its length shimmers with a deep blue colored force field. And its hilt is of black of charcoal. A single insignia once a single insignia upon the hilt shows that of a red eye. A red baleful eye. Notch steel sword. The blade of this sword is an ebony black and notch along its length to give it a cruel and jagged appearance. There is a strange visual effect upon the sword which makes it seem as if shadows pulse and ebb along its surface. It is very cool to the touch, and upon close inspection, a small insignia of a dark circle can be spotted on the hilt. So it has to be one of those. I think it's this one, the notched steel sword, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and save real quick, uh, just to make sure, because I don't wanna have to do that shit again. All right, so let's try this. Place a sword in a statue. And a notch steel sword. 
the sword sets itself in the stone as if it, as if it belongs there. Uh, what did I do? Hey! Yes, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Oh. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. And look, can I can I know about more about the star map? Our oldest secret is buried, but not here. I remember nothing else. I cannot help you. Well, I'll go then. Be at peace. Wait, do I not get the opportunity to talk to him again? Damn it! What did I do wrong? This stupid game. Alright, where's the friggin' Junta Paul's blade? <laughs> Look at that shit. Plus two fire, plus five. Holy shit. Held by the Dark Jedi even before he fell to the dark side, this may be one of the few truly personal items owned by a Junta Paul, and remains as thoroughly corrupted as he. Alright, well, uh. I'll just take this and go. Damn it! I don't know how he screwed that up. They're supposed to be. Okay, there's supposed to be a thing where you talk to him, and uh, you actually convince him to go back to the dark side, or go back to the dark side, go back to the light side, and he uh, he becomes one with the force, and you know, force ghosty shit. I don't know why he didn't give me that option. I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. Oh, it's you. I don't like you. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of a Junta Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. <laughs> Typical. Always ready to jump at what they perceive to be the easier path. Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden after all. Mm, no, I'll manage just fine. Thanks for the offer, though. Oh, but I insist. I'm not about to let a chance to impress Master Uthar pass me by. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. How about I handle it uh, by stabbing you in the face with it? Need to do things the hard way, eh? Fine by me. Fine by me too, bitch. Unlike your pissy ass little vibro sword there, I have a lightsaber. I have a real weapon. You are stunned, and I'm just gonna beat the crap out of you. Look at this. They, they're not even gonna touch you. They're going to watch me kill you by myself. Okay. Oh, Jolie! Just, he just stole that kill from me. Well, thanks for the money. I think I'll treat myself to dinner. All right. Hey, 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 you. Look what I found. You? You have the sword. The sword of a gentle ball. That's it, isn't it? How did you ever acquire it? I got it from a gentle ball. He gave it to me. He's my friend, not yours. Are you joking with me? The Sith Lord still lives? Uh, no. That would be silly. Oh, that is quite interesting. Uh, my mentor told me that Sith apparitions might be possible, but I've never truly believed it. Well, thank you for the information. I must go and inform my mentor at once of the strange news. You know, the sad part is, he's so excited about it, and I'm happy for him, but I know, I for friggin' know, that no one's gonna believe him. They're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, and he's gonna be like, no, this student told me that he saw it. And they're gonna be like, oh, so you didn't even see it yourself. He'll be like, well... And then they're gonna be like, yeah, okay, you know what, detention for you, bitch, you're getting punished for nothing. And then he's just like, oh, but come on. Alright, so... 
Dear with this bitch. There you are, finally. If you were any later in showing up, we would have had to abandon this. Oh, I've shit. I've been calling to the Takata mother in their language. She should respond fairly... Ah, here she comes now. Get ready. This will not be easy. She's a tough beast. Uh, I thought we were going to be looking for a holocron. You lied to me. Well, that was quick. <laughs> the beast is dead. We work better together than I would have hoped. And here is the holocron. Such a small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. I'll just run along now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll be sure to tell him of your contribution, naturally. Uh, uh no, I don't think so. I'll be taking it, not you. You're not getting the holocron. This was my idea. The plan was that I take it back, not you. Uh, no. The plan was that we both get crit. Back off. I'm warning you. I'm not giving this up. I said no. Over my dead body. Well, fine. If that's what you want, bitch. That, that, what the hell are the Tukata doing? Yep, bye, bitch. I got a holocron. I wonder what is written on it. God, do I have to click on all of these for it to go away? Holocron, here we go. A small crystal supposedly holds the holographic recordings of the ancient Sith. Information which could be incredibly valuable. There's no telling how long the holocron has been lost in the area, nor how well it works. I mean, hell, even if it didn't work, you're like, hey, look, I have a fucking holocron. I mean, at the very least, it would make a nice little paperweight. Nah. Who has the best repair shit? I have two. You have one. You have none. Can't change my party at all. We have 90 parts and 52 spikes though. We can we can afford to do some stuff. Plus he got us some experience, and this thing will help us out. Yeah, man, just totally walk through that. It's perfectly fine. And he just attacks the the droids. That's pretty awesome. He just attacks the droids. He just attacks the Tukata. He is the droid. I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh shit, there's more! I think those rocks that just fell on their heads probably should have, like, at least done a little bit of damage. Here it is. Did 
Damn it, Jolie. Well, that was totally worth it. where I think things start to happen and I don't really like it um, because you know time reasons and shit so I think he's got Callow Nord didn't we just we got some Mandalorian shit but Callow Nord's is still better Alright, yeah, we're not gonna change this shit. Uh, we are gonna wrap up this episode here, though, because once we, once we play with this, and things happen, and, and it, it'll take too much time. So, we're gonna wrap up today's episode here, and we'll do that on the next episode. Uh, if you enjoyed watching us, uh, eliminate the competition one by one, hit that like button down below for us. You know, we appreciate your support. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow us and all the social shit we post every time we upload new content. The link for all of that's in the description below. Always remember to save your game, because if you were to lose that data, it would be a shame. But we're gonna get the freak out of here, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.